and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. You're here doing the rolling. <laughs> Cheerleader Bob. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go on. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, what an interesting title, Brad. Uh, take off your shirt without fear. Try the standing ab workout. It's seven exercises. When you get done, after doing this for a couple of years, yeah. you're going to feel fine about taking your shirt off. And you... <laughs> Are you fearless with your shirt? Well, we're removal? going to talk about this. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're yes. always giving something away. We're giving away a dandy this week. We're giving a Renfo oh. stationary bike. Uh, this is... Uh, Fairly high end. I mean, for a consumer. Yeah. yeah, it is. If you want something inside and you want to get a good workout and it cooks up with your cell phone so you can watch yourself go down a road, it communicates through Bluetooth to the bike, increases resistance, up, blah, 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 blah. It's good. Can it show crashes? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know if that's in there yet. All right. Um, you can also find the contest on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And the podcast. And the podcast. They're out right. there. So at the end of this video, we are going to take our shirts off. Well, we're going to show a clip of it anyway. Yeah. We, we did this there, before. Yeah. So, yeah, it's within the last So we're month warning or two. you now. Yeah, <laughs> if you're going to get queasy or sick... <laughs> You know, avoid that part of it. We'll, yeah. we'll give you a warning right before we do That's it. That's right. And, but we're also going to show our age, in case you're wondering oh, how old we are. Really? We have a sign. Remember, right. we show well, shade. Let's yeah, show yeah. age, show abs. Yeah. Let's, let's get on with All the right. program, Bob. So the first thing that needs to be said, you know, before even exercise, if you're trying to get abs, you know, your abs to show, it, diet is, is more important, to be honest with you. Yeah, you yeah. really got to watch what you eat because what, what you're saying, it happens at the table, not at the right, gym. Right, in the gym, right. What happens? Uh, weight loss. Weight loss happens okay. at the table, not at the gym. Yeah. Uh, and Don't get us wrong. It's important to exercise. Exactly. But if, if you do a core workout every day for the rest of your life, but you, you eat what you want, you're never going to get abs. Yeah. Assuming you have uh, your what cheating. genetics yeah. are. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so avoid you know the processed foods. And Brad and I reduced our carbs. Mm. Um, I know you dropped about twenty, right? It depends on the time of year, but yeah, <laughs> in the Christmas time, I, I'm a little higher, more closer to fifteen. But you know, okay. coming out of workout time now in the summer, I I'll definitely drop dropped some. twenty pounds, and I wasn't really trying. I mean, I I, mean, I know people hate to hear to say yeah, that, it but this is uh, me off. It, too. It's true. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And, now, these exercises they can be good for beginners and seniors, yes. uh, because they can be done standing up. And I like uh, standing exercises because they're functional. Right. You know, you're, you're, that's when you need that core, when you're lifting things and when you're pushing things. And right. And you're, you're, you're working on posture and you're, you're working with a standing, not like a plank where you're down. Because everyone, if you've watched our channel, you know how I feel about the standard plank. I've got a number of videos on plank options. And this kind of fits into it. Sure. So I'm going to go from this side and you're going to go from that side, Brad. You're going to go like this. Gotta be like me, you know. Oh, <laughs> get with the program. All right. So we're first. It is almost like a forward plank now to start off with, and you're gonna go. You're gonna do opposite, alternate legs here. Now make sure before you start, you tighten up that abdomen and you you bring it in tight because it's a postural thing, and you want to get keep it tight and maintain that. Let's well, still breathe. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Now the thing about this is, you need to probably have grippy shoes on. I don't, I don't want you trying this with bare feet or, you know what I mean? You could slide. Now, if you want to make this harder, just go one leg and don't touch the f floor at all. There you go. How long are we going to do this for, I don't Bob? know. I'm just showing. I, I I didn't really come up with a time limit on these. Yeah, well, I think you can work it till you know, fatigue, but go through everything because you don't want to wear yourself off on the first uh Right, on the first exercise. exercise. Yep. All right, so that was the rectus abdominis I'm sure we're getting. Now we want to get some of the obliques. Um, so we're going to go on our side like this, and I like to go on the elbow. You could go straight out too, but I like to go on the forearm here. And you're basically, this is a, a favorite one of uh, people, right, Brad? Yeah, it's like, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, kinda, you know, it's, hey. a, it's a, like a victory move, you know? Right. 
And but, again, if you don't touch it all, touch the floor at all, it this starts to burn, doesn't it, Brad? Oh yeah. I mean, tighten that abdomen. Yeah, if you tighten the abdomen, that, it's amazing how if you focus on an area, how it starts to tighten it up. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel it. Well, of course. So we're, you know, really working on those transverse. Pro, you know, muscles, I suppose if you obliques. just started, Brad, and this is hard for you, you could do just legs to start off. Yep, with. you don't have to do the combination. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Who? What? Are, are we going to do both sides for... Well, yeah, we're going to even things out. I'm going to suggest if you're starting, do 10 to 15 on each thing or, you know, 30 seconds. Sure. Set your, uh, so, you know, your timer on your cell phone. Yeah, so maybe 20 seconds, Brad. Yep. You know, if you're a, a rookie, yeah, yep. and you're just starting out, but everybody's got a wall. Right? Nobody can give the excuse that they don't have the right equipment well, for this we, one. we hope so. All right. Next one, Brad. We're going to go and lean against the wall. But make sure, again, have good grip here because you could slide right out. Mm -hmm. And then you lift your butt up. And Take then you're going to go ahead and you're going to start doing the marching here. This is one that is yeah, definitely you gotta, harder than it looks. Yeah, you got to put your elbows up against the wall to help kind of brace you. Yeah, and as you get better, you can bring them all. And, uh, and the, the same thing on this one. If you just one leg and don't touch it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it starts to. Oh, yeah. It is good to actually feel your core. Yeah. And make sure you feel those muscles working. You can it, actually get feedback. Right. When you put your hands on there. I think we can qualify that as biofeedback. Sure. Um, you're you're so, getting the feedback through your fingers versus, you know, the traditional. I got a family thing. member. He's really a funny guy. But he, he's got a big gut. and We he, call that a beer belly in yeah. Wisconsin. He was working with the Amish, and the Amish said, why do you carry a backpack <laughs> off the front instead of off the back? He took so, it well? Yeah, he did. He's yeah. funny. He, he, he's got a sense of humor. Yeah, these Amish are pretty funny, too. <sighs> All right. Next one, Brad. You're going to do this one. Um, you're going to do the pull down. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorites that I, I yeah. really like using uh Little resistance, and so now this is going to uh, tax your core even more. You do uh, need some equipment on this one, I'm yep. afraid. Huh? Why don't you, uh, you might want to start out, depend on your band. Sure. I'm going to go right to here, tighten things up, and you're going to pull forward, tighten up, but don't round. Keep right, your keep your back straight. Right. So it's kind of like bowing. Yep. And then work it like this. You can go straight forward, but it hits you in the head. So I like to go this and, you know, so you're not well, going way over. Just plus, you slightly. get a little bit of obliques then too. Yep. I think it gets more fibers involved. This is a great one. Yep. And I, I really like this one. If you want to work on your balance and you feel pretty stable, but you want to go to the next level, try doing this on one foot, and that works the core as well. But uh, that's optional. Yeah. Of be safe. Be yeah. safe. Be safety safe. first. Well, I always like to go to the edge, you know, Bob. So I like to stand in front of you while you're doing that, like you're bowing down toward me. Oh, I thought maybe <laughs> I was getting some wind on you or something. Yeah. All right, next one, you actually just move it down to the center one. And this is called the Paylaw Press, I believe it's called. Um, a lot of people do it with cables, you know, weight cables. Yeah, but I think it works better well, with resistance Well, definitely bands. with this because you, you, now you get resistance. Now you can do circles. Now, this one's not for the faint of hearted. Is yeah. That, is well, you know, one? you could go the lighter band. Yeah, possibly. you go the lighter band, you go with one band. Yeah. And yeah, this is a lot easier. Yeah. You know, the yellow band right. is a little easier. You know, if you happen to have the loops, uh, they fit in, in these uh, anchors very well. I call this one stirring the pot. Yep. That's but a good you, way to put it. Uh, you you actually you want to flip the other way, Brad, and show oh. you can work it both ways, and uh. I'll work it both ways too. So yeah, you circle both ways, circle counterclockwise oh. and clockwise. Strong like bull. Now it may not look like much, but um, it again these are all a pretty decent workout actually, and you can kind of make them easier by starting off on the beginner you know, like doing alternate right. instead of doing single. But, uh, it, you know, you'll get the workout. And so now we're coming up to the clip now. Jump off if you guys don't want to see it because it could make you sick. Well, you know, Bob, I don't know what to tell you, but one way or another, we did it. And, uh, you know, we're not uh, ones that show off our bodies like some of the YouTube channels. <laughs> right. We've got a little. They got their shirt off all the time. We've got a little dignity or, right. or I don't know what we got, but we don't do it very often. All right, it's so, a family show, you know. All right. Jump off if you don't want to see it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Be careful. Welcome to the Bob and Brad Challenge. 
Hashtag show age, show abs. Let's do it, Brad. Age. Abs. Brad, who are we going to challenge? Friends. Family, full, and your pets. Yep, let's Have seal them. Let's seal those abs. Mm.